Hello everyone. So previously I had created a Maya scene where I had modeled a few towers and added lighting and created a camera that moved. And I went ahead and did a batch render with everything. So I'm going to go ahead and take the rendered images and create a movie out of them in Premiere Elements 8. I'm going to go ahead and close this and open up Premiere Elements. And I'm going to go ahead and go to Get Media and scroll down and click on where it says PC Files and Folders. And I'm going to find where it was that I rendered out those images. So it should be in my documents. And within the images directory. And in my case, it put everything in the master layer. So I'm just going to go ahead and click in there and select blocks lighting. And now I just have to check. And this is really important. Don't forget this. Otherwise, it won't work. <clears throat> you have to click numbered stills and that way Premiere will know that it needs to string together all these images well the ones that say block lighting anyway it'll string those together and create an, um, a nice movie so I'll hit open and so from here I just need to drag this down you can see it places a small sliver onto the timeline um, you can't really see much, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom in by clicking this zoom in button. And so now, you can start scrubbing through, and you'll notice that the animation starts playing up above. Okay, so when I'm done with that, I'll go ahead and, well, let's go ahead and create a title block first. So I'm going to select the clip and just drag it over to the right a little bit. I'm going to zoom out a bit. We'll have it start at two seconds. And then I'll go ahead and go to File, and then New, Title. And I'll click here to add the text. And I'll just type in my name and animation test city blocks. And I'll go ahead and move it around. You can change the font and add some kind of styling to it if you want. Let's put it in the lower left. That seems to work. Maybe I'll line this up a bit. Okay. So I'll go ahead and save this project. I'll go to save. And then I will then go to share and then let's go ahead and go to personal computer and let's do let's do QuickTime. Actually no, I'm sorry. Let's do MPEG and give it a name. and then go to advanced and you want to play with these settings and let's go ahead and up the quality and looks like the resolution is set correctly okay I'm not too sure on these other settings. Just go ahead and hit OK. And it's asking me now if I want to save the name of the preset. I'll just hit OK as well. 
and just click yes. And now, oops, it changed the name, the file name, so I'll go ahead and hit Orlando City Blocks again. And hit save. So now it's rendering the media. It may take a little while for it to complete. But actually, not in this case because it's such a small file. And I'll hit done. Let's go ahead and just search for what I created. So Orlando City Blocks. I'll hit play. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Oops.